With the newest update of Bloons Tower Defense, Ninja Kiwi has added a new character, Scoop, a flash photographer that shows up whenever the party's really popping. But we don't really add him into the game. So today we're actually adding Scoop into BDD6 as a playable tower, the Paparazzi. Scoop, the Paparazzi tower, uses his camera to stun balloons when he takes pictures of them. Eventually, at his final upgrade, he has photo bombings, which literally explodes the balloons when he takes a picture of them. This is gonna be awesome. All right, here we go. We got the Popper. Oh, he's huge! He's okay. Never mind. There he is. He looks so cool. Look at that. Ninja Kiwi did a great job with like the model of him. He's got like this little green hair. I'd love to see this be like an official tower. Well, that's cool. You know, the <laughs> this is so silly how it does that. Look at him. So he's taking pictures of him. There we go. Wait. So he doesn't actually do any damage on his own. So that's uh, let's <laughs> let's get our free dart monkey down. We're gonna need to get we need to get a dart monkey so we can actually get. Some Wait. How did he stun him all the way over there? How does that even work? <laughs> what is this sound? If your camera sounds like that, you should probably, probably get it checked out. So his next upgrade is flash photography. Paparazzi monkey takes photos 30, oh my gosh, he can't, wait, long range? Oh no, I can't, no, oh my gosh, he's, they're slowly just gonna get, wait, is he just gonna permanently sit here? Wait, no way, okay, I'm, I gotta pop it. We're using a super monkey storm. That's that's so silly. I guess we should save up and get some Pat Fusty action. Yeah, because this guy can't do anything right here. So we get Pat Fusty and we hit him right here. Boom. Oh my gosh. How can he not see this guy? Oh my. Wait. Thank you. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and let's just upgrade to flash photography. Oh my goodness. Look at this. He's actually really good at stunning the balloons. He does a really good job because he's look at how fast he is and he stuns them for a long time. Maybe we could, should get something that has like more glow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is just like a dead spot. Okay, enhanced range. Hungry. hungry. What is he hungry for? I hope it's not hungry for monkeys. Okay, the bigger picture is our next upgrade. Photos can capture more balloons in a larger radius. Okay, we need to get something that pops balloons right there as well. Maybe we just get a sniper and let's just get night vision goggles and shrapnel shot. And now we can actually hit all balloons no matter what. I probably should get lead balloons. And then that way we can actually pop leads. So full metal jacket, very nice. All right, and now target strong. What's the bigger picture? So photos can capture more balloons. I don't think we really need that right now. I think it'd probably be better if we just save up and try to get ourselves a banana farm. Right, well, we'll just throw our we'll throw our banana farm down over here. Start making just a bit more money. So how do you utilize Pat Fusty? Are you ever gonna use Pat Fusty in like a chimps run? Is this ever gonna happen? I don't see it. Okay, I don't believe it. All right. I don't believe it. But Paparazzi, the scoop, I can see that. He's actually very powerful so far, even though he doesn't actually pop any balloons. He's relatively cheap. He's pretty affordable, like only $430, and he constantly is stunning balloons. I don't think he can stun Moabs yet, though. Let's go ahead and get the bigger picture. So, boom. So he, Oh, look at that. AoE stun is not bad. All right, larger aperture, $2,000, and that gives us photograph... Photographs can now capture Moab. $2,000 to stun Moabs? That's actually kind of crazy. $2,000 and you can stun Moab class balloons? Is that OP? That seems pretty OP to me. But is it like all the way up to Zo MGs? Because if it's all the way up to Zo MGs, yeah, that is really, really OP. I definitely want to make sure that we get larger aperture before round 40 because that might be a little bit not great. I want crossbow because I want the extra range on it and I think that's gonna be very nice. And let's go ahead and get larger aperture. Oh look, his camera changed. He actually, his camera looks different now. That's, I like that. Wait, his next upgrade is crippling rumors? What? <laughs> so photograph balloons are stunned for longer and take increased damage. So, so far he doesn't actually do anything except if he's gonna be able to have crippling rumors that's gonna be really nice he just writes bad things about him okay he cancels the balloons okay he just says really mean things about him online and people are like oh that guy's not a nice guy all right let's see does he oh my gosh he just stuns him but for so long wait wait okay let's see how long he actually stuns him for like five seconds Probably even longer. It feels like even 10 seconds. They just get there stunned and they can't even move. I'm a fan of Scoop. He's only a T3. Crippling Rumors, $4,000. Sign me up. No matter how bad somebody is, you should never lie about the person. But in this case, where it's the balloons and we're fighting a war, I'm okay with it. We're kind of struggling right now. 
Right, balloons are kind of starting to get by, so if I get crippling rumors, is it- Oh, are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. Is it- I think he's actually doing way better now. The balloons were kind of sneaking by, but now that everything does increase damage to it, we're doing very well. I want to get another sniper monkey, and I actually want to get even faster firing and then bouncing bullet, because I think that's going to be- I love bouncing bullet. Ever since that one video I did with Isab, where we actually just- he helped me with chimps, and he showed me the bouncing bullet strat. I, I've been, I've been hooked. I've been sold ever since. See, how's our scoop doing? So that's the, the last upgrade, photo bombing. Balloons violently explode when they have their photos taken. That's what photo bombing means, right? <laughs> I love this, like, yeah, is that? Uh-oh, supply drop. All right, gotta make sure we get that upgrade for some more damage. All balloons become brittle, take extra damage while frozen and lose camo properties. I kind of want to get embrittle right there. I kind of want to go ahead and get embrittlement because it'll make the balloons even weaker. Even weaker. So let's get two embrittlements. So it removes camos and makes them even more brittle. The balloons are going to be just stunned and sad. Look at how strong they are. They're just destroying them. Wait, he's got 1,000 pops? How does he have so many pops? Ice monkey too good. I'll get sharpshooter. I love that it gives it just a little bit more range. I love when upgrades just give you a little extra on the side. Like just a little, just, you know, nothing crazy. Just a little bit extra range, you know? I'm, we're getting pretty close to photobombing. It's it's getting up there, all right? We're going to be able to photobomb. Wait, how does it even work? Balloons violently explode when they have their photos taken. That's, um... That would be crazy. Imagine it's just a camera, but if you take a picture of somebody, they just boom, they just explode. That would be terrifying. That would be a very, that would be such a spooky thing. Oh, look, Kaiju Pat hit level 10. Kaiju Pat's such a cool skin. I, I love how it transforms into a cyborg. It's so cool. There's like three different skins that you get, or like four, you get normal Kaiju and then like blue. And then the red half mecha version. And then he upgrades all the way into the full mecha. And then the voice changes on top of that. It's just so cool. Oh, okay, let's get photo bombing now. In three, two, one, boom. Is what's happening? He has 14. Wait, two, oh my gosh, he already has he has 2,000, 3,000 pops! So many explosions! What's happening? Wait, let's sell some towers here. Oh, wait, he can't hit camo balloons. Wait, if he can't hit camos, let's... I want to double down with the embrittlement because I feel like that would be kind of cool, actually. Okay, so he takes time to hit balloons. So if balloons are already stunned, he can't hit them again. So if there's just one balloon, he does have problems with it. But if there's lots of balloons, like, this is round 63. So this is where, like, all the ceramics rush in, right? So let's see what happens with the ceramic rush. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, it creates a chain reaction of explosions? So the more balloons there are, the more explosions there are. And the better he becomes. Like, he just becomes way stronger. So he's kind of like Prince of Darkness in a way where he's really weak against one balloon. But the more balloons that they spawn, the more he can just, like, explode and create this domino effect. He's pretty strong. He went from a support tower to just a solo tower. That can just destroy everything, no problem whatsoever. Oh, he look, I can see the little tiny, like, nose of the DDTs coming out. He's actually popping them. He's actually, he has 200,000 pops. What? Wait, what? Okay, so if we go to round 100, he can't stun a BAD, right? So he can't stun BADs. But as a support tower, that's pretty amazing still. Oh no! Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. The video's gonna end before we lose. Bye!